more fun. Beauty pageant, 
carnivals, drum and bugle corps competitions, food festivals, sports events, musical concerts, agriculture trade fairs, and garden shows. The Pahias Festival, originally known as Feast of San Isidro, is an annual religious celebration honoring San Isidro, the patron saint of farmers. It showcases houses decorated with colorful kipi, accepted with farm produce such as rice, fruits, plants, and vegetables as a way of thanksgiving for the bountiful harvest. Other events were added to attractors like the Parade of Carabaos, Floats, Sunduan, Parikitan, and Hanggantes, and a trade fair known as Changge Salukban. Officially, the festival is listed by the Department of Tourism as one of the most colorful tourist attractions in the Philippines. Those are only some of the fantastic festivals we Filipinos celebrate in our country to show our culture and root in hearts and minds, our traditions and beliefs as well. Filipino values. Each country has their own distinct values and traits that their countrymen can be proud of. The Filipinos are internationally acclaimed for these personalities. Want to know a few of them? Join me. The Filipino hospitality. This is one of the most popular qualities of the Filipinos. Foreigners who have gone to the Philippines find themselves falling in love for their hospitality. It is a different kind of personal trait which already existed a thousand of years ago. The Filipino Resiliency Super typhoons, devastating earthquakes, volcanic eruptions Throw everything to the Filipinos but rest assured that they won't give up They will continue to survive amidst adversity An excellent example of how the Filipinos are resilient and optimistic is when the strongest super typhoon hit the Visayan region last November No matter what hardship they underwent they still manage to overcome these trials with a smile and a positive outlook in life. The Filipino Talent Come to think of it, Filipinos are all-around workers. They are your professionals, blue-collared workers, celebrities, and everything in between. Some Filipino talents has been cited by a much famous star, and this just proves that the Filipino talent is excellent. The Filipino Faith The Philippines is mainly a Christian country, consisting of citizens who are very devoted to God and who believe in survival by God's grace. Due to the Spanish colonial influence in the region, Filipinos today have become dependent on prayer and religion to save them in times of trouble. This faith has propelled them to practice smiling most of the time despite difficulties knowing that God will save them. I can't demonstrate what I eat. Mm. 
or so, you crack the shell. Beat it off. Yeah, you peel it off. And then you'll see the part. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can see the shell and I the shell. I can see the duck every over it. And yes, it does look like that. Yummy. Angela's gonna devour it now. <laughs> Notice devour. Yeah. She sips the soup. The, the soup, which is also the dog's fury. Yes. Don't say that well. <laughs> <laughs>
This one? Yeah. What? It's carrot. Oh, yeah, it's carrot. It's an easy one. I can eat carrot. Okay. okay. And that one. And that one. And that one. The whole plate. It's a point. <laughs> I'm gonna add some rice. Yeah, it's red. Rice, the staple food of our us Filipinos. And then there's okra. Looks like a nail. It's a good nail. It's a good nail. Okay, next for our another special cuisine of our Filipinos. Adobo. Yeah, adobo comes from a Spanish word which means marinade, sauce, or seasonings. So as you can see, it's adobo. And, and it's best served with rice. So, will I eat this one or you? Yeah. You're the best eater here in this group of hours. So now we have the, the Philippines national fruit. The I know. My favorite fruit also. <laughs> yeah. Told me that. Okay. These are generally sweet, although most Filipinos prefer unripe mangoes, which they eat with bagong, tomatoes, or tomatoes, fish sauce, or with a dash of salt. Now, okay. Well, mangoes. They're usually used as flavoring on ice cream or sorbetes. Mm -hmm. And these kinds of mango preparation, you can see, very pretty. It's a hedgehog kind of preparation. Hedgehog. Oh, they call hedgehog. it the hedgehog. Let's dig it. Let's dig it. Mango cube. Very sweet. Very tasty. No wonder it's the national fruit. I mean, it's cool. Wow. This is a must try when you visit our country. You should. It's like, you. No, it's not you should, you must. <laughs> yeah. Evaporated milk to which are added various boiled sweet beans, yellow fruits, thick oh banana, or whatever you want. It's halabala. Yeah, it's halabala. It's a mixture of different it's a mixture. things. So, so yeah. we're going to eat the halabala. So, yeah. For Angela, eight dogs, I'm gonna eat sweet things. So, good for being a bad girl. That's your fault. <laughs> you want it? I didn't want to. You made me. That's the best dessert. You know what you think? Oh, there's ice cream. This is what we call gube ice cream or the purple one. Mm -hmm. Then there's this ago. 
No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish this thing over. international 